Jessica Volcourt from CNET here at a Google launch event for the Nexus 7 tablet. Just like the old Nexus 7, this one has a 7.02 inch screen. What's different about this one though is that it has a completely full HD 1080p display. It also has two cameras. There's a 5 megapixel camera on the back and a 1.2 megapixel camera on the front. There are going to be three versions of this device. It's going to come in Wi-Fi only, 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, and an LTE version as well. Now the backing is a little bit different. It sort of had more of like a tennis shoe style backing on the previous version, a little rubbery. This one has a regular soft touch finish. Still seems pretty comfortable to hold and pretty grippy. It is a thinner device, um, so that means that it'll be more comfortable if you hold it up for longer periods of time. The ports are still pretty minimalistic. There's a headset jack. You've got a power lock button and a volume rocker. These are oblong and easy to press. You also have a micro USB charging port at the bottom. One of the most important things about this device is that it will be the first to ship with Android 4.3 as the operating system. This is a version of Jelly Bean that's a lot like the other versions, but it does come with a couple enhancements on the back end, especially for gaming. Now this tablet is going to be going on sale in eight countries. In the U.S. you can get it for $230, $270, and $350 depending on the capacity and if it's connected to LTE. It will be sold through Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. We're going to get much deeper on this device, so stick around with CNET. I'm Jessica Dalcourt. You can catch our hands-on at CNET.com.